Hello friends, welcome to Velaxi Technologies. In this video, we are going to discuss about why merge conflicts happens in the real world and how the developers are going to resolve the issues. To demonstrate this concept, I have created a GitHub repository and also we have two developers who are going to work on same repository at the same time. So here I have a developer called developer1 as well as another developer called developer2. So this developer2 is on AWS server, another guy is on my, on my Windows system. Now both guys are working on a same repository called merge conflict repository where I have created two files and if you see my info file and uh, there is some information in this file. So initially developer one has seen that okay this code doesn't looks good. Maybe it is text but uh, usually in the real world we see the code right. So he thinks that okay this code is not right there is some bug he want to update this code. For that, he is going to clone this repository. Okay, so I am cloning this repository. So I am developer at this moment, git clone, and I am cloning the repository. Once you have cloned your repository, you are going to get your repository, and by default, git branch, if you check, okay, git branch, if you check, you have only one branch that is master branch. Usually developers doesn't work on the master branch. They create a new branch out of that and they do the changes over there. So let's take an example that I'm, I'm creating a new branch called git branch. Okay. Dev one branch. Okay. Because it is a developer one. So developer one branch I'm creating. Now we have created a new branch and if you check git branch. Now we have two branches. So let me switch on to dev1 branch and let me do my changes. So git checkout. Git checkout is the command to check out to dev branch. So dev1 branch. Alright, I have switched to dev1 branch and git branch if I check again. Okay, you can see green color and star means you are in dev branch. Of course, in my uh, git bash i have updated so that i will get this information over here in which branch i am working fine so now let me do the changes to my file so vi my info and uh, here i am going to change my username to developer1 okay so this is how i am fixing this issue and i am from bangalore okay i just updated this information and git status if i see so i have modified uh, my info file on the dev1 branch so git add dot git commit minus m updated my info file okay so i have updated or committed these changes into my local repository not into the remote repository once this is done i need to git status so nothing is there my branch is clean and i would like to commit these changes to the master branch okay but meantime one more developer has seen this code and even he thinks that okay this is not in the right format and if you see here it is still not yet committed as a developer one so he can still see the same code and he thinks that okay let me correct the bug so what he is doing he is also cloning this repository onto his system so git clone i am cloning this repository and if i see i have merge conflict repository and he went inside and uh, he would like to commit these changes so but he is working on master branch itself he is not creating any separate branch he edited my info and here developer2 he has given and city name he might mention Delhi okay so that's it and uh, git status git add dot git commit minus m updated my info file developer2 okay all right so i have committed my changes onto master branch itself and git push origin master so i am pushing my changes onto remote branch it is asking for username so 
revdi and i have given my password okay so what happened in this situation is developer 1 and developer 2 both guys has pulled same code and they updated same file and same lines of code but developer 1 has taken his code and he created a new branch and he updated his code on the new branch and he is yet to commit his changes onto master branch once it goes to the master branch from master branch to he is going to push it into remote branch meantime developer 2 observed that okay there is some problem so he has cloned the repository and he committed his changes into the remote repository now Currently, it is two commits, but uh, developer 2 already committed his changes. So, it is going to update my info file and three commits it came. And if you see my info, it is already updated. Okay. Now, developer 1, he want to push his changes as well, right? So, he is switching back git checkout master. So, he is going back to master and before pushing his changes he want to pull the code maybe he took uh, some longer time and a few other developers might be updated the same repository so due to that he thought that let me clone the repository then let me merge my changes to the dev1 branch to master branch so git pull so git pull is a command to clone the sorry pull the repository so you can see here there were some changes and it pulled those changes in my info file there are four changes two lines added and two lines are deleted okay anyway he got latest code into the master branch at this moment and if i open the master branch my info file you can see here my name is developer2 and uh, i am from delhi and if i check out git checkout and uh, dev branch and uh, i have switched to dev branch and if i open my info file over here so you can see that developer branch changes okay now i would like to commit my changes onto the master branch usually whenever you want to commit your changes you should go to the destination branch in our case i want to commit my changes from dev1 branch to master branch so switch back to master branch again git checkout master and merge your changes so git merge and your branch name so i want to merge the changes whatever is there in the dev branch one to master branch okay you need not to specify the destination so if you do this one now you can see here auto merging my info there is some problem with the my info it is trying to auto merge the changes but uh, conflict there were some conflicts in the my info file we need to fix those conflicts that is what it is saying ls if i open my info file cat my info you can see here your file has been updated and it has given the header nothing but what is the changes are same in the both the files you can see here hello there is no conflict first line and last line also i like movies but remaining two lines there is a conflict that okay my name is developer 2 and i am I am from Delhi and same way here also there is a conflict. So now usually what will happen in the real world that group of people who has created conflicts or who has updated that code they sit together and they discuss which changes are valid to fix this particular issue and then they update the code according to their discussions and they push the changes. So in our case developer 1 and developer 2 sorry sat together and discussed and uh, come to a conclusion that okay let's keep the name as a developer one and uh, keep the city from delhi so like that they have taken a decision and uh, vi my info and we are updating according to the same discussion so my name is uh, developer one and instead of my name is sorry i am from bangalore i am giving i am from delhi and remove this one also okay there are few tools which will help you to do this one but usually this is how we do okay if it is a smaller code if there is a uh, lengthy code maybe you can use some third party tools okay git status if you see now so we have updated our file now git status if i check sorry now git add dot okay next git commit minus m Okay, now git push origin master. 
okay in master branch we are pushing our changes okay my changes got pushed into my repository if i go here and uh, if i refresh it and uh, new changes has been updated my name is developer one and i am from delhi okay so this is how we can resolve merge conflicts hope this video helps thanks for watching and see you in the next video